Oh, this is gonna be annoying, man. I need. <sighs> I think we'll just do Marnie Wave. Okay. Right, so we're gonna do one hour of this Stars and Pillars. Uh, I'll run level one loot scroll because I'm pretty sure it's just like normal where you're just basically praying for distortion earrings. I don't know, I'm gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna run anything special here. Although, actually, what I might do quickly is just do knockback. Oh, I need one more knockback. What is it called? Do I have time to help you with Dark Seekers? You can ask questions, yeah. Oh, I already had those. Uh, I always do that, man. I don't check to see if I have an item. I don't know if anybody else has that same thing. Okay, I don't know how high that'll make my knockback resistance. 90%. Okay, so we'll be 100% with the thing. Alright, so... Um, yeah, that's what we're going to run. It's pretty basic standard stuff anyway. Um, I I have Cabor artifacts, but they have Camasylvian. I think these are demi-humans, so obviously this is not best in slot light zones. In fact, the light zones don't do anything here, but... I'm so over geared for this that I think that's fine uh, for me, not for other people. Uh, oh, your question is very obtuse. Uh, that would be difficult for me to answer if I'm being totally honest with you, Roland. You could probably run this with a spirit perfume and get the recovery and try and abuse Will of the Wind because then the, the spirits won't CC you. But uh, we're not going to do that cheese strat. We're just, I just don't want to get knocked back. So I'm going to run the Kalk. So Frenzy, Simple, Kalk. Uh, and then the add-ons are not specifically tailored. This is just my basic add-ons. So. All right. Uh, what's my drop rate? 207. So it'll be 257. Then I'll add this thing for 260. I will have a full hour of drop rate because I can't bother to go kill Sangoon again. So we're not going to have a full hour of that. Would help if I have pets out, huh? So actually, we have higher than that. We have 272. Nice. Well, you could do this. If you had a uh, spirit perfume. With the knockback resistance, you won't actually get CC'd by the. Uh, the mob that's designed to prevent you from AFK grinding because of Guardians doing that. There it is, this one. It's very weak, but it does a lot of damage. So you need a lot of gear to be able to deal with it. But anyway, um, yeah, so Roland, I mean, how much AP are you working with? There's so many underlying factors that could cause you to have less trash than somebody else. Are you comparing against the same class? How much gear do you have? What are your buffs like? You know? I'm pretty unfamiliar with the new version of Dark Seekers Retreat and the trash that it gives. So, oh, someone refreshed Sangoon for me. Nice.
Would help if I had some elixirs on, huh? I mean, it... It doesn't that much because I have so much gear, but... I wish they'd spawn faster. Do you have a house buff? Do you have the um, Krog Dollar Wind buff as well, Roland? They just like stroll, man. It's annoying. Maybe succession would be better. And you're playing what class? Are you playing Awakening Ranger or are you playing something else? Oh, Suck Striker. Uh, I don't really don't know what Suck Striker is like in PvE, so... And because I don't know what you're supposed to be getting trash per hour at the new version of Dark Seekers, I don't... It's really hard for me to, like help you, unfortunately, because obviously I just have no basis to, you know, I can tell you the buffs and the only thing you seem to be missing is, is a Croc Dolo buff, which is 5 AP, I guess, but, well, we'll Suck Witch especially, yeah, I don't, I Suck Lom may be really, really good there too. I almost wonder if it's like... Oh wait, there's a... Wait, this is new? Oh, it's a new anti-AFK mechanic, I think. Interesting. Wow, opposite. You guys really start... I gotta stop abusing this. Well, I wouldn't compare what you're doing to a Succession Witch. That's literally the best class, so...
the loot scrolls. Do you need to see it? Just, I don't know that it's that information that you need, but... to see the loot scroll for. I'm still, I'm like, still confused. So I, I guess if you don't kill that, it, like, destroys the tower, I think. I think I vaguely remember something about that. So it's just like an anti-AFK thing other than the spearing guys. Uh, drop rate is 272. But yeah, I, it's one of the few grind spots I haven't really covered, so... Here we go, I guess. go Arsha because uh, I'm streaming and I need to do an hour test without being interrupted that's why I'm not grinding here normally you know if I was like oh yeah let me just do an hour of Arsha I don't really need as much AP as I have on so I'd probably grind in my actual PvP gear
Yeah, I, I would never grind here normally. I fucking hate them. Yo, Panic, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. When was the last time you were here, Roland? Yeah, we're trying to get the Debo necklace to pen, but uh, no luck so far. Pretty close now to click number three. I was sick for a week, so it set me back on my timetable a little bit, but... I wonder if it's almost worth having, like, level one descending current on or not level one, but like awakening descending current, which is obviously a laugh. Just to activate their run mechanic faster. <laughs> Actually, unironically seems to work. Uh, the fail stack is 316 at the moment, I think. Don't quote me. 316, 317. Ah, uh, thank you. I hope so, too.
That tech is good. Man, that is the tech, dude. Descending current actually is so good. Can even kill the um the spearman. Which is impressive considering it does no damage in Awakening. No, I'm just doing a hour long grind to see what the money is at the moment. Look at that, kills the little spear dude, that's funny. Twenty minutes though, on um, pretty good drop rate, right? no uh, distortion. Really. What if they'll do Dekia Star's end? Oh, that guy just got the treasure or the merchant ring from Paddocks. That's lucky. Is that because of a sugar tax or is it Pepsi Max? We'll have nighttime drop as well soon. And we got a clear black star crystal, but that's worthless these days. Wow, it's been worthless since like the first month of this grind spot. It was originally worth a lot of money. People buy that nonsense more than beer. Well, sometimes people want a non-water drink and, you know, I don't know. Fear makes me sleepy, so...
well, if if it's sugar, you might have a sugar tax on it. Right? If it's diet, then I don't know. That's still strolling. Well, yeah, I mean, the only time they've messed with the change in the colors of the skills is um, with the Halloween outfits with the 100% animation change. I think it would be a pretty cool reward for um, maybe Solar or something, or Black Shrine. Definitely. The shy outfit changes. Which one? Twinkle stars. I like purple skills. I like purple on Ranger. So far, this is uh, not going well. For it not to be terrible, you have to get this dose. Wait, 
way. Yeah, I mean, two, two, even two would be bad, kind of, right? But it would be acceptable enough, I think. <laughs> you think that, but dude, I went and tested Calfian Giants, not Giants, uh, Trolls after it got buffed, and I got like three or four bosses, and I didn't get a single. I didn't get a single disto. Crazy. Yeah, but I assume most people wouldn't have the drop rate I have outside of drop events, right? Because I have max drop rate. Short of being on Arsha or with Castle Buff, which again, new players, newer players, mid tier players wouldn't have. I definitely have more drop rate than most people. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's just a bad start and it'll like recover in the second half hour. You are you your history, or where where are you solar? history you need just one earring or yeah 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 you got a tongue ride during what are you complaining about there you go we got a, we got a disto from the elite there you go now it's turn Although my earring is less valuable than yours. I want to do Dekia Olin's tomorrow though. Hey, maybe. Maybe. Why that spot have fast respawn? It's a tower pole. It's um, a tower spot. It's not a um, rotation. Yeah, it, it works like a pre uh, precursor to Dekia. Yeah, exactly like that. There's uh, three of them per channel. And it's this thing, Vessel of Inquisition here. This tower here, it works like Dekia, but without the lantern. 
but very low geared comparatively. I mean, it used to be a pretty high geared spot, but now it's low geared. I would say it's probably early mid game or mid mid game maybe. Easier to do than Gaifin, but probably similar to maybe Orcs or something. I'm only seeing how much money it is at the moment. I make a lot of like videos of me just grinding random grind spots of all kinds of gear ranges um, to put on YouTube so that people have an idea of what money might be available from these spots for a ranger. Depending on how my RNG is going to close out for the rest of this hour, I'd be very curious to see how much money we'll make. But yeah, this, there, this spot is here. And there's three of them per channel. This one is the closest one to Ash. Well, yeah, it's a little bit closer than the other one to Ash. Two of them are close to Ash. The other one is close to uh, the beach. Kind of. Really need one more drop at least. I don't feel like I'm getting that many of the event item here, but I think I am. Just not paying attention, I guess. That 11, I guess, is okay, actually. That's what I've got so far. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Felt worse than that.
can't believe they added another AFK mechanic to it. It's crazy. Makes three AFK mechanics because of this grind spot. Slow spawn. Come on, give me another earring. Never forget the uh, the level of griefing and fighting over these spots. Not this one, but when it was just the rotations. That was one of the eras. It's hard to imagine with this grind spot first release, most people didn't have the gear for it. It's kind of a haven for a little while history became so like full of Timmy's didn't quite have the gear for Loris the Cryer or for this it's gonna be interesting to see how like the Dekia spots uh, and crypts or like when we get to similar points in the game where that's the power creep. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Probably not Envy, but I'm going to see how much money it is per hour, so at least I can say I've done it. I, I just, like, record either directly or by stream hours of grinding at different grind spots so that people have an idea on my YouTube channel what each spot is kind of worth. So. My initial impression so far is probably not over Orcs, because I think they're similar like, Stars and Pillar and Orcs probably very similar. So. Just the one. I mean, you need at least two to even feel okay. 
three would be ideal, but two is like just about okay, right? But right now I have one, so if we don't get another one, I mean I have good drop rate, like two hundred and eighty-two percent right now because of nighttime. You know, it's not a low amount. It's more than most people would have without a drop rate event. Um, so yeah, obviously there's. You know, you shouldn't have to have a grind spot require you to have like 320% drop rate from an event to be okay, right? Like, obviously, you can grind on Arsha. I don't know how busy it is on Arsha these days. Probably much less busy than it used to be. I try not to grind on Arsha because I already have high drop rate, but also I need to complete a full hour. And if I'm streaming while grinding on Arsha, you know, it's like ringing the dinner bell. Like, oh my god, I can be on stream. I'm gonna go kill streamer. Then you, you grind off stream and you literally never see a soul. Like... That's something I haven't done in ages, Thornwood. It's terrible on Ranger, though. It was nice when I had my Guardian tag, though. Ten more minutes. Oh, let me turn my auto elixir off. Maybe this big guy has a disto for me. He does not. That's how I got the other distos from one of the big guys. Thank you. 
We had no dwarves has. Yeah, well, I do like all kinds of grinds for like the YouTube channel, like see how much if they're worth grinding for like newer players and mid-tier players and stuff, as well as like end games ones, obviously. So I figured, figured I'd just test it out, see what it's like. It's pretty shit to give you an answer, but uh, anyway, thanks for the raid, man. I don't even know if I have a mod to shout you out right now. Orca is always number one right here, right here. Let me show you where Tass is number one. Oh, shit. Right, there you go. <clears throat> Thanks so much, man. Sorry, I'm not as exciting content right now, but... You joined it? I, yeah, I need a small-scale guild. My game shits the bed. That's why I left Orca. My game just shits the bed in large-scale PvP. I get, like, constant, like, frame freezing. The game just, like, shits the bed. I don't... I don't know. So... I mean, I do prefer small scale, but I'd rather do uncapped small scale, but it doesn't exist outside of, well, Guild League, I guess, but there's no node war that's small scale. It's all big ass, like, 70, 100 man nodes, but. Tell Pawn. I don't know anybody yet, so I will tell them as soon as I know who that is. Yeah, I got, I got a case, yeah. I should just tell people that to be dramatic, you know. Oh, it's the GM? Oh, okay. I don't really know. I, I talked to a person called Lord Eisen for a trial, and then I trialed, and then they are like, yeah, you can come. And I was like, cool. And then that's it. I haven't even done a Node War yet. I think our first Node War is tomorrow, so if you want to watch some Tier 1 content and Tass isn't streaming, you can come over here. That's a late ad. Very late dinner. Enjoy, man. They're nice people so far, though, and so that's good. I do miss Orca, but ultimately, I want to be able to play the game in PvP and not, like, have constant frame freezes and the game just dies. You know, it sucks. I hate rangers! I fucking hate them! Grish, thanks, man. Again, the only, like, silver lining is that I do enjoy smaller scale fights more because I can play Awakening. I mean, I maybe could have done that in Warcraft, but then I would have had to add delay for um, anti cannoning or whatever, right? Because you can't do that without delay, so on stream. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, it's fun. I haven't done tier one in, like, a long time, so we'll see. You don't you don't like rule? Sorry. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Rule feels weird, man. Thank you so much for 32. You, you have history of the guild? What a wild node war. Why? What happened in a node war? Did you like my comment on your video, your video vamps? Oh, we fight them on tier 2. Orca and opposite versus Malice and Conquer. It was a sick video, Vamps. I really liked it. That's a big fight. Who won? Conquer broke some cannon rules, then opposite died. Malice got CGG killed, then 1v1 with Conquer was hilarious. Wait, hang on. You, you killed Malice while being 1v2 for a little bit? Wow, you guys improved so much since I left. I'm really proud of you. It was always me dragging you guys back. Also, classic, you guys went from a Daya after I left, which is like the one siege I have somewhat manageable game frame rate, and it doesn't freeze as much. Also, it's the best region for drop rate, but I assume you took it. I actually haven't confirmed. Wait, I can't kill it. Oh my god, okay. Hmm. 
No, I don't know what happened. Last time I checked, it was you versus some random ass guild I don't even know the name of, and it, I assumed you were gonna win. Now I haven't actually looked to see if you had one. I assume you won, but I don't. If you didn't, I don't. You 4v1 the castle, then got back. Oh my god, man. That's what I mean. Like, that would have been a banger siege for me to go out on because I actually could have played the game. Oh well, it is what it is. Instead, I went out in Calfion, the literal worst region for my game. Any luck on Debos? We haven't clicked. Um, I'm pretty close now to click number three. I'm like a few billion away. Maybe tomorrow if I do enough grinding, I guess. But you know what I'm like with grinding, man. I just... I am to grinding what middle-aged women are to working out, where they come up with random ass exercises instead of just like working out normally. I do that, but for grinding, right? All right, time to make some money. All right, let's do some crescents. We're stars end. I think Zumba is okay because you're dancing. Dancing will always be good for fitness, but like you see, like I see these reels of like these random fitness things that like these you know middle-aged women are doing and like they're like you know banging on like fitness spheres or whatever and doing weird shit and yeah Yeah, I really struggle when the motivation isn't as high enough, you know, for like the in-game content. I'm desperate for PA to do something about the lack of uncapped content because that's what really drives your wanting to push gear is uncapped content, you know. It's kind of ridiculous we have five tiers of node wars and uh, four of them are capped, <laughs> you know. One of the major siege regions, the actual region that is the best for like the reward, drop rate wise, is Medaya, which is capped. You know, so definitely I think that, like, it's more motivational when you have content that rewards you for gear progression, definitely. Um, I mean, for me, I'd really, really like small-scale uh, uncapped content Node Wars to do. Um, I don't want to do 70 versus 100. I mean, I, I loved being in Orca, like, for the guild, but, like, the actual content... First off, I don't want to play Succession, but also... Um, I'm just not a fan of massive content, I don't know. In South America, Madaya is uncapped. Yeah, they move it around. It never used to be capped for us, and they moved it around. But obviously, the drop rate from Madaya is literally the most valuable one, so... Since it covers Odalita. I mean, Calfion isn't bad, because it still has some good spots, like Ash, I guess, but... Cyclops and Ash aside, you basically want Madaya for the Odalita drop rate. Well, War of the Roses is, is, is even bigger content, right? Like, that's 300 versus 300. It's going in the opposite direction to what I want, you know? I've just always been a fan of, like, when they used to have them, because we used to just have uncapped Node Wars, was, like, doing 30-man 30, 30 Node Wars. I've always enjoyed them more. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Hopefully they, they talk about it in the Heidel Ball. I don't know if that's Cope, I guess, but hopefully... I think the thing is, even if my game didn't shit the bed in large-scale PvP, I'd still rather do small-scale if it was available as an uncapped option. And that is a full hour. One earring. That is... Wait, I want to see this guy destroy it. So this is the new anti-AFK mechanic, because apparently three anti-AFK mechanics is not enough. So here we go. Thanks, opposite. Let's see if he destroys it. 
Why, wow, it takes a long time, huh? Huh. Ah. Just get onto the road real quick. Uh, recently, I I didn't recognize it at first, and then I think I remembered reading the patch notes to do with it. So, it's the it's literally the third anti AFK mechanic they've added to that grind spot, and one that is for every grind spot. Okay, uh, let's pause that. Okay, this is level one loot. That's so sad, man. Oh my god. One earring. Didn't even know you could... Well, there was a period where certain people abused stars and pillars by AFK and were like succession guardians and stuff. Uh, and AFK, essentially AFK grinding. So they added like different AFK, anti-AFK mechanics to that grind spot. That's the newest one. Okay, so... Um, we're seven, eight, nine, four. Um, one, three, nine. One of those, not that that really matters. One, 73. It's so drop rate reliant still, and you just, even, like, I had 280% for much of that, and I still only got one earring. That's just not good enough. Especially since a lot of this money is like locked behind not being able to access. <laughs> I'll leave it at 262 because it's close enough, but. That's tragic, man. So if I had gotten another earring, it would have been 866. I mean, maybe okay, but it's still worse than the orcs. That's tragic. Well, at least we tried it. <laughs>